Hi, YouTube. If I could help one single person with this video, I will be happy. So here's to the closeted one. Whether it's your sexuality or gender, it doesn't really matter. It's kind of the same forte in your mind. I remember being so, so ashamed of myself for a really long time. Around the same time, I became aware of what my sexuality was. It was the same time I heard my first ever LGBT slurs to myself and to my friends and to people I cared about. This taught me that people don't like us, don't like the LGBT community, and that scared the crap out of me. Seventh grade was probably the worst year of my life. I forced myself into relationships that I didn't actually want to be in because I thought that someone, that like anyone could take away the feelings that I didn't want to be, the feelings that I didn't want to feel, and no matter how many people I piled on myself, forcing myself to be with, they didn't help, they actually made it worse. My girl crushes became stronger and disgust levels became higher upon myself and upon the people that were great to me, that were trying their best to be in a relationship with me, but I just couldn't, I couldn't. I wasn't ready to be in a relationship with anyone and I wasn't even ready to be in a relationship with myself and my own sexuality and who I was. I wasn't ready for anything. I kept forcing myself to be someone who I wasn't and it was all in the name of the closet. For the closeted kid, I understand what that feels like and it does get better if you let it. You are better than what you force yourself to be. You are more than the reflection that is shown to you in the mirror. You are breathing and living and feeling whatever you are feeling. And I am so glad you are just breathing and living and feeling as humans should do and be. And that's, that's what it is. All we want is to just live. We want to be able to breathe on a day-to-day -day basis. We want to be able to walk and move and feel feelings that we are okay with. That is what life should be. It's not just for the LGBT community. It's not just for any community. It's for all of us. All we all want is just to generally function in a society that is okay with whoever we are. <sighs> to myself, as a seventh grader, I can tell you that you get to grow up and you don't end there. You are a long living story that is not what you thought it would be. You get to tell your parents. You get to tell your friends. You get to tell anyone and everyone that you want to tell. And guess what? You get to tell the internet. You get to tell the internet on one of your third videos that I am openly bisexual and I am perfectly okay with it and I don't care whatever your opinions are on it. That's who you are now. That's who I am and I love that. I love that I can say I'm bisexual. <laughs> Just like that and nothing happens. I don't freak out inside anymore. This was my dream for so long in my life. Even in freshman year when I did come out, I was so mortifyingly terrified about doing something like this. Like, this is was my biggest nightmare. And no, I'm not completely grown up and I don't have all the magical answers of the universe. I am just me who is living them with whoever is watching this day to day. I am just, I am more than my bisexualism. Is that a word? You are more than whatever sexuality and gender you define yourself as. And once you get to accept that, 
as who you are, you can build yourself and be whoever you want to be. And that's why I want to help you. I want you to accept it. This way, you can move on and build yourself into whatever you want to be. But also be careful. If it's not safe for you to come out as whatever you may be, but if it's not safe, if you can get physical or mentally hurt, or you could get kicked out of your home, or if anything bad could happen to you, then just hold on in the closet for a little longer. I was lucky enough to not have that situation, that I was able to come out with the confidence of knowing that even if my parents don't accept me, they will still deal with me and love me. If it is not safe for you to come out, please don't, okay? It's better to have one more closeted person than another LGBT homeless kid. And I know that's horrible to say, but it, it's true. It's better to have a closeted person than another LGBT homeless person. I just wanted to say that I love you and I accept you. And when I say I love you, it means I care about your humanity. I care about if you are breathing and living and eating and being able to survive in this community, in any community that you are in. That means I love you. So I do. <clears throat> Stay safe. Stay strong and stay happy. <laughs> That's it.